Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Intel Compute Stick. It's a tiny computer, small enough to hold in one hand, but it's uh, basically a desktop computer. It has an Intel Atom low power processor and an HDMI port on this end, and you can plug it right into a display, uh, TV or monitor in order to run full desktop style applications. Now, Intel offers two versions. There's a version with two gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage that ships with Windows 8.1 software preloaded. And there's a cheaper version with Ubuntu Linux preloaded that has just one gigabyte of RAM and eight gigabytes of storage. But what if you want to run Ubuntu on the higher end version because you want that extra storage space and the extra memory? You can do that. Intel doesn't really provide the instructions for doing that, but Ian Morrison, uh, an Australian who's a Linux enthusiast and a small computer enthusiast, has figured out how to do it by taking the software from the Linux version and, uh, and sort of taking some of the tweaks from that software and making them available to anybody. So you can download his uh, link from, from his Google Plus post. You're going to find links to all of this in lilliputing.com. Uh, where I'll have more detailed instructions, but I wanted to do a little video to give you an overview of the process and show you how relatively simple and straightforward it is. So you download that one gigabyte file, and then if you're using Windows, there's an application called Rufus that you can use to write the disk image to a USB flash drive. You're gonna want a flash drive that has uh, probably at least two gigabytes or so of space. And so if you're using uh, Linux, this is even easier. You just use the DD command. But here, I'm gonna say I wanna create a bootable disk image I'm going to locate that disk image. It's Ubuntu 14.04 and click start. And then you just sort of says it's going to erase all the data and I'm fine with that. And now it's working. So we're going to pause for a second and when we come back, I'll show you how to get this up and running on the Ubuntu or on the uh, Intel compute stick. All right, once everything is done, you can take the USB flash drive put it into a USB hub. I've also got a mouse and a keyboard hooked up here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and plug that into the Intel Compute Stick and plug that into the HDMI port on a display. So we're all set. The only thing I need to do is plug in a power source and then we're gonna sort of mash the F2 button as it tries to boot. Okay, so from in here, we're going to configuration and where it says Windows 8.132 bit, hit enter change to Ubuntu 14.04 LTS 64-bit, save changes and exit, yes, and this time we're going to hit the F10 key, which brings up your boot options. Now this is going to look a little bit different from what you might see, because one of these options should say Windows bootloader, and the other one's going to say uh, USB flash drive. I actually already have a different version of Ubuntu installed on mine, so I've got Ubuntu and a USB flash drive. But let's go ahead and say we want to boot from the flash drive. And now we have the options to install Ubuntu or try it without installing. I recommend trying it first. Now the compute stick does have 802.11n Wi-Fi. It's not a real strong signal that you get from that. So uh, I'm up on the third floor of my house. My router's down on the first floor, and I've noticed when using Windows or Ubuntu, wireless signal's not always super strong, but at least it exists. And I'm gonna go ahead and find the network, connect to LaneyCat, which is the name of my network after our eldest cat. And let's go ahead and connect. And while you can see that Bluetooth is also working, says we're connected. We have internet access. And we have a very similar video. Because of our abilities, you locked the four of us away. Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is a computer running Ubuntu 14.10 Linux. You can see that we're connected to the internet, uh, Wi-Fi works, Bluetooth works, and audio works. So what computer is this? This is actually an Intel Compute Stick, which is this tiny little computer here that you plug to the so there you go. That is how to get the live version of the software to run. So it's all actually running from the USB flash drive connected to a USB hub. This is Ubuntu 14.04 LTS. 
But then you'll also notice that there is this icon in here that asks you if you'd like to install the operating system. So from there, you could install it to the built-in storage or to the micro SD card slot uh, or a micro SD card in the SD card slot. You're gonna want one that probably has at least eight gigabytes of storage or more. Uh, and of course, one of the advantages of doing this instead of just buying the version that comes with Linux, with Ubuntu Linux, is that you do have access to that 32 gigs of built-in storage if you want it. And perhaps more importantly, you have two gigabytes of RAM instead of one gigabyte. Uh, if you bought the version with only eight gigs and one gig, you'd have almost no free storage space left after uh, installing or after just turning the system on. So you're definitely going to want a micro SD card or a USB flash drive or some other external storage if you get the Linux version. Um, but if you're willing to spend a little bit more money on the Windows version, you can install Linux yourself. So this is Brad Linder at Lilliputing and look at Ubuntu 14.04 on the Intel Compute Stick, the version that normally comes with Windows.